Okay. Somebody asked me if I would show how I pump the uh, air rifle up and get the air pressure into it so that I can shoot it. So that's what I'm going to do here. Let me do that for you right now. So this is my hair, uh, high pressure air pump. Goes up to 4,500 PSI. Um, all you do, you remove this cap right here and it exposes the little port here. Now I've just got the, a bag, little baggie over this to keep dust from getting on it. Because you don't want dust in your system. And it just pokes right in there, just like that. Fits just as, uh, just be gentle with it, you know. You don't want to mess up your uh, O-rings on there. Make sure your pump, the uh, release valve is tight down. And really, that's it. I mean, it's just like a bicycle pump. You just pump it up. What you're shooting for is you want this. I want it just underneath that three there. About 2,900 PSI is where I want it. And that's it. I mean, you just keep going until it's full. There's no point in, you know, making this take five minutes to show you get it all the way to full. But anyway, that's it. It really is just that simple with this, uh, you know, hand pump. Okay, one other thing I forgot. This piece right here does not come with the pump or with the air gun. Okay, right there is where I fill it to. About 2,900 PSI. And then when you get finished, when you want to unhook this, don't just go yanking on this thing and yank it out. Make sure you come down here with your release valve and release the pressure first. Otherwise, you'll tear them O-rings all up. I saw somebody on YouTube told me about that, so make sure you release the, the air pressure first. And then this should just slide right out, no problem. Yep, there he goes. Hey everybody. So uh, I got a chronograph. I'm gonna check the uh, speed that my uh, pellets are traveling. I also got a range finder to make sure that I'm uh, telling you the right ranges uh, I had been stepping off what I, 25 long steps come to find out that was about 33 yards <laughs> not 25 so that's good that means my groups were as tight as I thought they were at 25 they were actually that tight at 33 about 30 to 33 yards <laughs> so that's a good thing but anyway today that's sitting at 28 yards I just measured it so we're almost 30 and we're going to be testing speed and I also did a trigger modification um, this this trigger is adjustable the first and second stages are adjustable there's a little set screw right down in there right there that adjusts the first stage to get the the play out of it and you can see I got almost all the first stage play out of it that's all that's left and then this one back here, right down there, adjust the second stage. Uh, the, basically, you can uh, adjust the creep in the second stage out. And this one had almost a, like a half inch of creep. It was crazy. It was taking forever to get the trigger all the way back to release point. And I think that was affecting my accuracy a little bit. So I got a longer screw. and put in there and adjusted that down to almost a hair trigger not quite hair trigger because you don't want it to be unsafe 
and I did uh, bang on the butt to make sure that it wouldn't accidentally fire if it was bumped into something or dropped. So it's much, much shorter um, second stage now. So it should be a little bit more accurate, I hope. Okay, everybody, more testing today. We're gonna test the uh, speed of these pellets. I've done a power adjustment. Well, it's very simple, actually. Okay. This bolt and this bolt. Take those out. You remove the stock from the action. And then this plastic piece right here, you pull it off once the action is, you know, out of the of the rifle. You pull this off. And right back there is exposed a uh, You'll see a little hole if you shine a flashlight down in there. You just stick your Allen wrench in there that fits in it. I don't know what size it was. Um, and you can turn it clockwise or counterclockwise. Clockwise turns it in. Uh, it's the hammer spring is what you're adjusting. And uh, clockwise causes it to produce more power output. Counterclockwise produces less power output. So what I did, I went in and I turned it in for full turns clockwise to try and increase the power. I did some testing yesterday and uh, today I'm going to show you just what I found out uh, where it's at right now. So stick around and we'll get started with the shooting. Okay first up we're going to start with these Diabolo, the Air Arms Diabolo Field Heavies. The reason why they didn't really shoot accurate enough for me to hunt with but they're eight, 18 grain pellets. So you'll, you'll see the speed that an 18 grain pellet, we'll start with that, an 18 grain pellet, how fast it goes. And you'll see that each, this is 18 grain, this one's 15.42, this one's 14.3. Now the Terminators are right in the middle at 16.3 grains, I think, something like that. But we won't be firing those today because those are the ones those are the ones I've deemed my hunting pellets, and I don't want to just waste them <laughs> for a chrono test. I already tested them yesterday, and it, you'll see, when you see the speed of the 18s, the 15s, and the 14s, I think you'll see that the 16s, the Terminators and 16 grain, fit right inside that at 850 frame per, or feet per second. 